It's good to be with you today. We finished up yesterday by raising the question, what do you do when the blessings dry up? How do we praise God when circumstances leave us little to be grateful for? How do we find joy in the middle of problems? God never changes, and praising Him for who He is rather than what He has given will leave us with an endless supply of things to praise Him for. Let me name a few. You and I can meditate on God's worth, His word, His ways, His will, and His work. Let's dive into a couple of these today. First, meditate on God's worth. His worth is incomparable. Well, what do I mean by meditate? I certainly don't mean for you to put your mind into neutral gear and mindlessly, thoughtlessly sit there and just breathe. There is a time and a place to just relax and let your mind be quiet. But meditating on God's Word is a completely different activity. When I say meditate, I mean it in the more traditional sense of the word, to contemplate, to ponder, think, consider, reflect, and that good old weird word, ruminate. Do you know that's what cows do? They ruminate. They have something like nine stomachs. I don't know but th why they need nine stomachs, but they do. And so they chew their cud, they swallow it, they burp it back up, it goes, they do it again, it goes back to one of those other stomachs. I mean, it's this whole process of chewing, swallowing, burping, and it's called ruminating. And it's actually where we get the idea of meditating. Meditating is simply thought rumination. So you think about something, then you think about it again, then you think about it some more. So when we're meditating on God and who He is, we're actually putting our brains to work rather than putting them on the shelf. A few minutes ago, I suggested that you meditate on some attributes of God, and the first one to think about is God's worth. Well, what does worth mean? His worth is talking about the qualities that command respect or honor or esteem. What is there in God's name or His nature that commands respect or honor or esteem? Psalm 148.13 says, Let them praise the name of God. It's the only name worth praising. His radiance exceeds anything on earth and sky. This verse gives us a clue in that it says that God's name is the only name worth praising. That gives me pause because I think of a boatload of people in the news who think they are worthy of praise. Does that mean then that we don't praise other people, only God? No, because the rest of the verse says that God is special because His radiance exceeds anything on earth or sky. It just means that He's different than any human being, and as such, He is worthy of my praise. 1 Chronicles 16.25 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. When I begin to catch a glimpse of who God really is, it begins to restore my joy. Another attribute of God to meditate on is His will because His will is good. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. There's so much to ponder and reflect on in this verse. Contrary to what many of us believe, God's will is good, and His plans are not to harm us, but to give us hope and a future. If you took each phrase and thought about it for a couple of days, you would be filled with joy and praise because you would be reassured that God is for you, not against you. And when you are confident of that, you can face any trial with a sense of purpose. As it says in Romans 8.31, If God is for us, who can be against us? This gives me a reason to be joyful today. I'll see you tomorrow.